Hi, welcome back. Now, I am very excited to show you what is in here. I haven't opened it yet, but I'm hoping this is the answer to all of the exhaust problems. As standard, the bike came with these rather hideous twin exhausts, which, as well as causing problems routing through where the battery is supposed to go, also weigh about the same as a breeze block each, so they have to go. I've already done the fun bit and have sourced a much funkier, much nicer single exhaust. So the problem now is how to join the header and the end cam. Getting the existing exhaust off meant taking off the radiator, which meant draining the radiator, which, you know, if I'd been thinking ahead, I could have avoided that, but hey ho. Um, bigger problem was the fact that I don't know if this exhaust had ever been off the bike. So everything was seized solid. Um, the one exhaust stud came out reasonably okay. The second one I had to drill out and it wasn't until bits of it started falling on the floor that the whole thing started to move. And then this connection here, this connection here was absolutely seized solid. Uh, it took a fair bit of work with a, uh, with a hammer to ease that off. Once it was moving, I was able to jiggle it and eventually it came free. Um, it now turns out you can't buy these exhaust gaskets. So I'm going to have to do something. Um, I think there's a solution, but uh, yeah, it's a bit of a pain. Anyway, end result was I managed to get this off. Now, you can see that originally it uh, ended in these twin pipes, which was absolutely no good if you want to go to one exhaust. Um, I've taped this back on because this is something I did earlier. It's that blue Peter, isn't it? Here's one I did earlier. So, the original terminal So that's the original shape of how it was. But with a little bit of blacksmithing, I managed to turn it into this. Now we have an exhaust which ends like that. And we have the other part which ends here. And I just needed to find some way to connect the pair of them together. I spent quite a while uh, with a protac protractor and rulers because I thought I thought that there were going to have to be two bends I thought there was going to have to be a bend uh, to straighten that end out so it's now coming straight back and I thought there was going to have to be another bend to tilt it up so it then points into the new end can I had some random lengths of pipe hanging around. When I put them on, it was pretty obvious that this was pointing straight out where I was imagining the first bend for the header pipe to be, which meant I only needed one bend. But still, how to do that? Um, I knew there was lots of bits available on eBay, so uh, it was to the Bay of E which I went to look for the various sections. I figured I needed a reducer, a straight piece, uh, a bend, then another uh, um, flanged part to fit over, fit over here. But when I looked on eBay, there was a company that was offering to do uh, uh, a bend in a pipe with a flange either end. So fundamentally, that's what I need. I need a bend with a flare here and a bend here and a flare here. So I sent them an email with the, the dimensions. This was on a Sunday. And an hour later, I got back a reply saying, yeah, they could probably do that. They'd have to check. Um, and on Monday, they confirmed. So for the grand total of 25 pounds, I'm hoping what's in this bag is the solution. But frankly, for 25 pounds, I couldn't afford to do it again. So if this isn't quite right, 
I'll get another one. Okay, it's looking good so far. I can feel there's a flare there. There's obviously a flare there and there's a slight bend in it. So far, so good. So uh, it's got a couple of marks on the pipe. Uh, Cydenox 44.5 times 2, EN 1.4404. So that means that this is a 304L uh, in old money, uh, which is a stainless pipe. Um, it's obviously fairly thick walled. It's, yeah, it's obviously fairly thick walled because it's managed to take this. That's a fairly sizable flare that it's taken out there. But yeah, that all looks okay. Okay, so I could, this, the junction here needs to move further back because at the moment this is hitting here and this is sitting a little bit too far in. So that junction needs to go that way, which will move that end of the pipe in the way, which will allow this all to angle out a little bit, um, which means that when it comes past here, I'm just gonna have to deal with this this here, I might put a little bit of, I might wrap a little bit of copper around here or something just to act as a little heat shield. Um, but that needs to go in there to allow this pipe to sit out a little bit, to give this a little bit of clearance uh, from the back wheel. Uh, and also this junction here needs to be down around about here to allow this whole can to move forward. And Good, good, right. Um, like I say, I was really impressed with the, 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 the company that made that. Uh, uh, very responsive to, to, to questions, have turned around a really nice quality product. Um, and for a very reasonable price. Um, so I'm going to go and revise the drawing now, send it off to them, and hopefully next week I'll have the exhaust fitted. And once the, ex once the exhaust's fitted, the radiator can go back on and that's the engine running that's the engine working um, there's a box waiting for me at the uh, Royal Mail sorting office which has got the new front mudguard uh, and yeah then there's the uh, the battery tray to fit and we're done I think well as I say all the time but uh, in this case it's absolutely true the exhaust adventure continues